Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading day. It is quite a day of news out there. Of course, last night, the U.K. elections, the Conservatives winning quite a majority, biggest majority they've had since 1987, as Brexit looks like it's full steam ahead. And then yesterday and today, we get news of a potential phase one trade deal. Pretty light on the details, but nonetheless, the market spikes to an all-time high. Right now, for today, market's pretty muted. S&P's up about three points at 31.72. Dow Jones up 13, trading at 28,145. NASDAQ up 26 points, trading 87.44. Looking at the gold contract, up about $7 at 14.79. Notes and bonds getting some higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up 18 ticks at 128.30. The 30-year bond up a full point and nine ticks at 158.02. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the indices, and we'll start it off with the Dow. And actually, for some context, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start it off with the S&P to show you where we've been where we were for a high and where we are right now. Backing things up to yesterday, this is when we get the first tweet from Trump at 9.35 a.m. talking about very close to a trade, trade, excuse me, very close to a phase one deal. The market trades S&Ps from about 31.40, initially up to 31.75. You'll pull back to 31.50. Overnight on the news that he had signed a potential deal, we make it all the way up to 31.88. But this morning, we've had some volatility as the market, a little bit timid on light on the details. We made it all the way back to 3160, just at 1130, an hour and a half ago. S&Ps right now at 3175. Jumping over to some of the indices, Dow 30, 28,158. You see a similar volatility to the S&Ps in all the indices. NASDAQ 100, 8503. We cover the S&Ps at 3171. Crude oil with some volatility as well today. Crude right now trading right above $60 at $60.05. Gold contract right now trading $14.79. And the euro US dollar, as we get a little dollar strength, euro trading $111.18 on the heels of quite an election in the UK last night. Stay tuned, folks. We have a replay right now. Steve Rhodes, he did his program live at 8 a.m. So you're going to hear Steve Rhodes coming up right now at 1 o'clock. We have Dave White with the Power Trading Hour live at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading week live at 3 o'clock. Should be an interesting three hours to finish up the trading day. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.